This video shows some of the best exercises and techniques for muscle up mastery. The bar muscle up combines a pull up and dip into one seamless motion. It requires pulling power and basic pushing strength in order to move your body through space. The transition is what makes this exercise unique. Muscle ups are the calisthenics equivalent of the clean and jerk. All right, let's cover bar muscle up technique so you know what's what. Jump towards the bar and your body will be swinging back and forth slightly. Time the pull up so you're moving like a pendulum, arcing up and over the bar. As a beginner, it's excusable to use some kip to get a feel for technique and timing. With practice and as pull-up power improves, gradually kip less. Chicken winging is a sign of weakness. Go back to basics, bro. A helpful muscle-up cue is keeping tight abs and legs. Make sure to keep your shoulders into scapular depression for maximum power too. Muscle-ups are best treated as a full body exercise for best results. Let's talk about the hands. Wide grip allows you to pull in a more vertical direction, but requires more shoulder mobility to do safely. Close grip is heavy on the wrists, but allows us to transition sooner with the triceps. It's no surprise that something in between, not too wide or too close, generally works well for most people. Band muscle-ups are unfairly criticized as a training tool for beginners. Some people argue this exercise is bad because bands don't match the difficulty of pull-ups. The problem being the band helps the most at the bottom when pull-ups are easiest. Bands help the least at the top when pull-ups are hardest. The argument being that bands aren't doing much for the ever important transition, being a waste of time. Relax, nerds. Yes, there is a strength curve and resistance mismatch with banded muscle-ups, but so what? The main purpose for assisted training is to refine the motor control of muscle-ups. Beginners are improving their skill of muscle-up technique in a low intensity way. It's true that band muscle-ups are suboptimal for improving pull-ups, but that's not our goal. Having fun and getting a taste for what the muscle up feels like isn't such a bad thing. When band muscle ups are used as part of a comprehensive program, beginners should carry on. Explosive pull ups are the most important exercise. If you just get really good at doing pull ups quickly, the muscle up will come for free. Very rarely is the straight bar dip a problem of weakness for beginners. Most people can bang out a couple of dips, no problem. There's no point going hard on dips if you've got enough pushing strength already. Time and effort is best spent on pull-ups. Our goal is to become more powerful by using fast reps as a way to improve. Forget about doing your first muscle-up unless you get better at these. Keep in mind, we can only accelerate the body at high velocity for short durations. This means explosive pulls are best trained for low reps with plenty of rest between sets. Quality over quantity can't be stressed enough. I'd rather you do seven sets of three with power instead of three sets of seven like a snail. When speed or height of pull-ups drops, that's your sign to stop the set. Skip the kip when it comes to explosive pull-up practice. We don't want momentum helping us cheat. The pull-up should come from your muscles only. Don't be flailing like a fish. When doing consecutive reps, make use of that juicy stretch reflex. By pulling as hard as we can when going from eccentric to concentric, the release of stored tendon energy really makes your pull-ups pop. Expect to gain supercharged motor unit recruitment in your back and bicep muscles. You'll be flying like this in no time. Continue to challenge yourself with increased ROM. Pulling to chest height is good, pulling to upper stomach is great, and pulling to waist height is excellent. A higher pull-up makes overcoming that pesky transition a breeze. Don't be that person who can do 15 pull-ups yet can't muscle up, a common beginner problem. Power pull-ups for low reps are functionally specific for your goal, so keep doing them. Apply the same principle of part practice to the bar. Half muscle ups target the most difficult parts and skip the dip. Consider doing this variation if you really want to specialize on what's most challenging and you already find bar dips easy. Half muscle ups aren't as fatiguing and won't conflict with your pushing goals. You've now solved the training schedule dilemma of muscle ups. The half variation makes for a perfect first exercise on pull day. Here's a few bonus exercises you don't often see in other tutorials. Front lever pulls are great for improving power at the start of muscle ups. Because we're stressing that straight arm scap strength with hollow body, the skill directly translates one to one for muscle ups. Front lever pulls are hardest at the bottom and get easier once we pass horizontal. Choose a posture which allows you to bang out multiple reps in a row and you'll be flying on muscle ups like it's nothing. Forget all the fancy exercises if you're not doing weighted pull ups. Weighted calisthenics is a simple way to improve force production. Pulling heavier weights improves the M side of the force equation. Sets of three to six reps are best for building strength for weighted pull-ups. We need high intensity to gain neural strength. Plus, this rep range is sustainable for day-to-day -day training. By getting really good at weighted pull-ups, expect the muscle-up to feel much more solid. 
Negatives are another training method to get stronger. Practicing muscle ups from the top down is a smart method for beginners. We're greasing the groove of muscle up technique and building strength in reverse. Be sure to lower down smoothly through the full range. Doing multiple reps in a row is best practice. Expect to shake and struggle. Fight against the temptation to drop down. Control the movement and don't let it control you. Eccentric muscle ups are a great way to bridge the gap in your abilities. Practice on both the bar and rings to make the impossible possible. Here's how to troubleshoot what exercises are most important for you. If you find pull-ups and dips easy, spend time doing muscle-up exercises. You've got the foundation of muscle size and strength already. Muscle-up progressions are the smart choice to unlock your first rep and beyond. If you're a bodyweight beginner, let's keep it real. Get really good at your basic exercise on the bar and rings. At least five reps on push-ups, rows, pull-ups, and dips. Beginners who pay their dues see faster results, are less likely to get injured, and keep less when doing muscle-ups. Well done. The world of calisthenics is now yours to explore. If you enjoyed that, click here for another value-packed fitness FAQs video. Peace.